Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, it is Wednesday, August something. Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. It's Wednesday, uh, August 10th, and uh, it's a beautiful day outside. I thought I'd go for a walk, kind of a quick walk, and uh, before it gets too hot, probably is already too hot, but uh, I just want to go for a quick walk, get the energy going, because uh, I've been recently, the bill, uh, just getting up and working, and then getting in the car and driving pretty much for the last couple of weeks. So, although we do a lot of exercising, walking, uh, when we're doing some of these things, uh, I, I think I need to get up, go for a walk, you know, a couple kilometer type walk, and then uh, then get to work. So, I'm also gonna try and combine a few things. So, while I'm editing, I'm gonna be doing my laundry, and that way, I'm not just sitting in a laundromat just waiting for my stuff. I can work while I'm doing that. Cool? Let's go for a walk. Yeah, feels like it's around 30 degrees Celsius, or like the very high 80s, very humid, possibly even in the 90s. There's a, some type of an insect or a bug. It's making a very interesting sound. So I'm going to go for a 1K, 2K walk, get the blood flowing, and then I'll get back to work. Apparently, this Mexican food restaurant, their food is so hot, it burned the place down. Now that's hot. Must have been the jalapenos. Jeez. I am back from my walk. As you can see, the sweat is flying off me. It is a warm one out there. Wow. That's that. Right about there is a good spot. So, I actually walked more than three kilometers because maybe, I don't know, half a kilometer or more into my walk, I decided to turn on this app. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's like walking app, whatever. And so I walked three kilometers once I started this. I walked three kilometers. It took me 31 minutes and I burned 400 calories. Nice! I should do that every day. I'm not, I'm not sure how accurate that is, but my pace, oh, it doesn't tell me my pace. It says average pace is 10 minutes, 10 minutes per kilometer? That does, doesn't sound right. Hmm. Well, I guess it does sound right, 30 minutes. Wow, I thought, it, I, thought I could walk a kilometer. I thought if you walk five kilometers an hour. Hmm, never mind. I'll figure that out later in my mind. So average speed was, yeah, 1.8 kilometers per hour. Okay, I get it. Maximum speed was 10 kilometers per hour. That's when I like picked, like ran across the road. Uh, average steps was 123 steps per minute. Hmm. We'll compare that to tomorrow. I'm going to try and do this every day. I just realized that uh, not only did they have happy hour, Monday to Thursday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., but they also have breakfast, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'm not sure if that's a free breakfast or not. Let's go check. Yeah, it's a continental breakfast, so it looks like you can grab as much food as you want. Let's see what they got. They've got all the cool stuff, I guess. Got some cereals, toast, Waffle maker. I'm gonna have some waffles. And we've got hopefully some eggs. Oh yeah, some sausage patties, eggs, bacon, microwave. Got some fruit. I'll be taking a banana for sure. My favorite apple, Royal Gala. And then they also have that stuff. Coffees. My kind of place to stay. All right, guys, let's make a waffle. Mm, grill conditioner. Let's do that first. Where's anyone? Got it. Oh, strawberry flavored. 
I didn't even know it's strawberry flavored and original flavored. Too much. And now we wait. Perfect. Check it out. It's Texas. It is too. Texas waffle. Okay, breakfast was awesome. I'm going to grab a, uh, my laundry and my computer, come downstairs, have to buy soap, got to get some change, it's 50 cents at the front counter at reception, <clears throat> and then I'll uh, edit, actually I'm going to shower first, get rid of this sweat. It is 9.37, all showered, shaved, teeth brushed, deodorant on. Just finished packing up, checking all the plugs. Somebody asked in all those really fast travels that we did, uh, did we leave anything behind? The answer is no, because uh, either Carol or I, or both of us, which is even better, we just do a quick walk around, make sure nothing's plugged in or in place somewhere else. Uh, when I'm staying just a night, I never use the drawers, but it's always good to quickly check. There's my fallen soldiers. Uh, I just had to put that in my backpack. I don't have to make two trips because I can't carry all this stuff. So, uh, put all the stuff in the car, then go to the laundry area, do my laundry, edit the vlog, upload the vlog, and then I'll head down to Galveston. Let's do it. All right, guys, this is Ken doing laundry. So, there are instructions here, just to make sure you don't do it wrong. And I definitely need instructions. So, there's soap. Some of you are like, I can't believe you're watching Ken wash his clothes. Hey, it's a vlog. Don't look. My undies are going in there. My personals. A couple of these things I have to like hang. Oh, this is like all sweaty soap from my walk. Mmm. And my last pair of socks. It's a dollar coin operated machine. So I'm putting one, two, three, four, one dollar. You shut this. Push this. Regular, firm press, cold, wash, we're good to go. Laundry's in, takes 30 to 40 minutes, uh, and this is their business center. Like, I love this hotel. This is the nicest business center I think I've seen in, in any of the hotels I've been at. Um, fantastic, just fantastic. You can shut the door for privacy, looking outside. I hate not being able to see outside, so I can look out and see if the sun's still shining. Of course it's shining, it's Texas. It never stops shining in Texas, unless it's flood day. Just gonna go check my laundry, see if it's finished the cycle. I'm gonna throw it into the dryer. Gotta move quickly because my computers and everything are just sitting there. Done. Good. I wonder if there's like a bounce sheet or something. You know, static clingy. Okay. So nobody stole my stuff. That's a good thing. Uh, so I asked the ladies that only spoke Spanish if uh, if they had like a bounce sheet or whatever to throw into the dryer, but they don't. But it took a while to f for her to understand what I meant. I'm about halfway done my editing. It's probably going to take all day for that sweater to dry. Although, if I just put it on the top of the car for a minute, it'll dry. It's over here. Sounds like it's still going. Back to editing. Gonna check my laundry once again. Ah, Carol just sent me a text. They're on top of a mountain in Newfoundland right now. Let me show you this picture. Hopefully you guys can see it. What do you think? Cool? Thanks, Carol. Very nice. I'm missing it. The dryer's done. <gasps> Underwear! Don't look.
just finished uh, folding my laundry in the business area. Uh, just packing it all back into the suitcase and I don't have to worry about laundry until I go home. And uh, so that's a good thing. I definitely want to buy a new shirt when I'm down here uh, or two. I'm definitely going to have a CraveCon shirt on during CraveCon, so I don't have to worry about that. But uh, if we go out or whatever, I want, I never brought an upgraded shirt. Uh, so I'll probably buy one when I get down there. I'm just going to pack the rest of the stuff away. My next dilemma is, do I leave here and go to Galveston? Because my room probably won't be ready. It's only 11.35. And uh, so if I get down there, then I can't get into a room. Then I'm stuck in the same dilemma kind of thing. Uh, so I've got internet. I've got a business area. I don't have to leave this hotel just yet. So I think I'll finish, finish at least the vlog, export, upload, uh, and then I'll leave here, get to Galveston, and then I'll have to try and put together uh, some food videos and get them out as quickly as possible. Two of them will be from my, uh, I guess it'll be the cod tongue, and the other one, the, the lobster roll, and uh, then I have to get out the brisket one as soon as possible too, because that's promoting CraveCon. Oh boy. I am all done my vlog, uploaded that, managed to squeeze off um, the Cod Tongue review and put that up. It got like 300 views right off the top, which, which is amazing. This is great, because you know, it's not a Burger King, it's not a McDonald's, it's not a Wendy's, KFC, it's Cod Tongue in a small little town. And so I'm hoping that it gets lots of feedback and I hope it's good feedback. And one, one of the, the problems I'm, I had today when I was responding to people on my channel about when I put up the, uh, the bonus video, which was called a bonus video. And I know you guys are gonna be super supportive and say, don't pay attention to the haters, but people think that their comment is criticism when it includes insulting words. And they think that's criticism. And I guess that's possibly the use of today and they just don't know how to talk to people. And I guess the way you can look at it, the way I look at it, imagine being, imagine being an art teacher and a little kid comes up to you with a painting that they try really hard on and says, what do you think teacher? And you say, that's a piece of shit. We don't want to see that kind of stuff. You know, stuff like that. It's just like, like that's the part I try to, I, I try to combat. And of course, when somebody insults me, I'm not really nice back to that person because like, why should I be, right? So there's my little rant for the day. Uh, I had a really good conversation. Change the subject real quick. I had a really good, uh, a uh, phone call with Matt from uh, CraveCon and uh, he said he, he's wanted to go over them. We've sold uh, almost 50. We were going to actually cap the dinner off at 50 people and we're almost at 50. So Matt says, you know, we need, we have 40 something. I can't remember the exact number. So, but we need an extra 15 for all the creators and that's their, their, their ticket, their free ticket to get into the dinner because we want the creators at the dinner, of course. And uh, so, you know, it's the 40 something plus the 15, maybe we should cap it at 80 and we have to tell David, who's the director of the facility, that we're gonna have up to 80. But then what happens if we start selling even more tickets at the door to upgrade their normal ticket into the, the eating with your, your favorite content creator. So we might even bump it up to 100, but we have to make sure that we don't uh, inconvenience um, the convention center and uh, Hilton. So, yeah, that being said, let's get going down to Galveston. Okay guys, I went in, back in to get some water <clears throat> and to go to the washroom before I left. And as I'm walking in, I saw one of the ladies walking into the uh, the office center, business center, and uh, she comes walking out with my cable. She's like, is this yours? I'm like, oh my God, thank you very much. Woo! I told her she rocked, because she did.
made it down to Galveston, and uh, my first stop, just for me, is Shipley's Donut. Shipley Donuts. I just want a donut. Check it out, people. Shipley. Bad parking job, sorry. <laughs> Hello. All right, first things first. Shipley Donut. I don't know why she gave me, oh, I guess it's, I guess it's two. I'm just trying to take that out, oh boy. Mm, mm, taco in the Mm-hmm. Super fresh. Sugary. Glazed. Mm. Sorry, make me watch this. Mm. Oh gun. That was awesome. Now to the hotel. Made it to the Hilton, parked the car. There's no way I can carry that, that, and talk to you guys at the same time. So I'm gonna shut this off, uh, sign in, and get up to the room, and I'll show you the room. And we'll do a little review. We'll do a little, do a little, little review. Okay, all checked in. One of the new cool things about these card keys is you don't have to like put it in and figure out which arrow to just use, put it up against. And it changes, it opens it. So it's got a magnetic sensor or whatever. Very nice room. We'll start with washroom today. Very nice washroom. Definitely uh, just a notch up from last night, but still clean, of course. I wouldn't expect anything less than that. Very nice washroom. I love these doors. I've got a safe, great. <gasps> I've got a war, a bathrobe, got the coffee maker. Oh, it's the Instamatic ones, maybe. I don't know. Then we've got one of these things. I got a holder for your suitcase. Nice king size bed. And we've got a nice sitting area, little table, nice office space. This is definitely a notch up, but it's very close, very competitive uh, look to where I was last night at the Quality Inn. I know some people are like, you can't compare the Quality Inn to the Hilton, but you can. And I just did. And uh, this is awesome. They did give me a care package, which I thought was very cool. And I don't know what's in it, so it looks like well, water. Uh, water. They obviously think I'm thirsty. Then we've got the Hilton Summer Schedule. And oh, we got a map. And that's it. Thank you very much, Hilton. Very nice. We got our uh, ice cube holder, a couple glasses. They never give you bigger glasses. And I I like the glass. I, for a while there, when I'd go on trips with the guys, I'd bring my own big mug thing. Plastic, of course. But there's the view. Very nice. Carol and I stayed like there last time we were here, or I guess a year ago when we were at the Game Con. Uh, last year I didn't stay in this hotel, I mean, uh, this year for the Game Con I didn't stay in this hotel, I stayed in a house. You guys saw that video. Uh, we got the Rainforest Cafe right there, and, uh, and that's uh, Landry's Seafood. Very, very cool. Time to go play. When I walked out from the hotel, my glasses just fogged right up. That's how cold it is in there. That's how hot and humid it is out here. So let's go down to the beach and check it out. All right, it's almost six o'clock. I just realized 
that I need to walk that way a little bit. There's a surf shop and they've got some possibly cool Hawaiian shirts. Uh, I just finished a couple beers uh, and I also was working on um, the lobster roll or the lobster salad on a Kaiser, trying to get that done and it's pretty much done. I just got to do one more quick walkthrough, but I realized it's almost six. I've already got past my 10,000 uh, steps. I'm not going to bring my hat. I'm almost like still soaked from the first walk. Uh, we've got to go I'll shut that off. Let's have a little electricity, you know. Uh, we've got to zip over there, see if we can get a shirt and because I'll probably going to maybe going to dinner tonight with Dame. Oh, make sure you got your card. And I don't. Another thing I haven't told you guys, I've been taking the stairs. I only took the elevator when I brought my stuff up the first time, but I've walked down, I've walked up, and now I'm gonna walk down again. I'm gonna try and keep doing that. Okay, let's go shopping. Okay, so there's a place here called Wings. Beats and sportswear. So we'll go in here, see if they got any cool shirts. They definitely have sharks and cool beach towels. I am on my way down to meet up with Dame and Mrs. Dame Drops. And we are going to go to Sh Joe's Crab Shack, I believe. I think uh, she is craving this, so we have no choice where we eat because that's where we're going because Mrs. Drops says we're going there, which is fine. I would like to try that too myself. Oh, look at that freaking... Oh. So, I still am trying to finish my Mai Tai. Um, I almost finished the lobster on a Kaiser, lobster salad on a Kaiser. It was like really close to being finished. But then Dame texted me back saying, yeah, I'm in the building, let's go for dinner. Let's go! Okay. <sighs> Just kidding. I'm super healthy, fit. Okay, stop drinking. <laughs> well, I was trying to make you both look up at the same time, but <laughs> it didn't work at all. How are you, sir? All right, how are you? Hello. I put a fresh new shirt on, so you're good. I got something special for you, Ken. What's that? I got something real special for you, Ken. What is it? Oh, new oh, cell stuff and chargers. Oh, nice. Very cool. But it doesn't stop there because, you know, they need, to know, oh, they need to know exactly who you are. Very cool. And I have the same shirt. So mine's Dame Drops on the back. It says KBD Productions on the back of Dame Drops shirt. Nice. <laughs> so we're buddy. ready, man. We got to be you. ready, bro. We got to be ready. We're ready. We're ready. Oh, and I see you started with this all This is the awesome. I saw, I saw the Instagram. We're at Joe's Crab Shack with Ramier, Dame Drops, and we all got our food. What'd you get there, buddy? Oh, I just thought light, man. I just thought it was some fish and chips, not too crazy. Nice. And what's well, that? A little bit of shrimp. A little shrimp. Some shrimp action. And how did you like this? There's a spicy chicken thing. Amazing. Nice. Amazing. And it came off extremely hot. Yeah. <laughs> not enough ranch, though. They didn't give a brother enough ranch. I needed to get more. I got some snow crab, all you can eat. And what'd you get, Ramier? I got the Arctic Bay. Oh boy, it's like everything in there. Yeah, I don't even know where to start. And, then, and you get to throw your stuff in the bucket there. <laughs> Let us know how you do. Yeah, I'm that. We are all finished up at Joe's Crab Shack. How did you like? How did you like your dinner? I enjoyed. It. Yeah. How did you like your drinks? They were weak. They were yeah, not not heavy on the alcohol at all. But we, we were entertained by a woman bathing her child. Oh my goodness, who was that all the time? <laughs> Dame's like. Yo, that was the he kept, wasting. He that kept was the wasting. He kept signaling with his head yeah, to me like, look, yo, B, to look, look at this at woman. That, and so I turn around and all I saw her is her back and her butt. <laughs> and I'm thinking, why is Dame telling me to look at some woman's butt? And then I realized, and then she moved and she had this baby. Mad baby action. Mad baby action in the sink <laughs> in the restaurant. And was he naked fully? No. Oh, no, baby had a diaper on. Oh, baby had a diaper on in the sink where everybody's supposed to wash their hands to get clean. Oh, that's nasty. And uh, Dame jumped in next because he's like, hey, free, ba free bathing. 
Free bath. Like, what's that called? Uh, free booger bath. Booger bath. Free booger bath. <laughs> anyway, I, I had three. Eventually, I had three buckets. I only wanted two. Savage. Uh, but all of a sudden, the woman comes and she gave us me another one. I'm like, I, I'll take it's it. Right. But I didn't. I didn't. It's uh, all you can eat crab. Yeah. All you can eat crab. But usually they keep asking if you want more. Yeah. But in this case, she didn't ask, and she just brought me the third bucket, and I'm like. I'll take it, but I didn't ask for it. So you're hungry, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I'm having some more I'm crazy. so not hungry right now. Bro. But I'm thirsty. August 13th, bro. August 13th. CraveCon. www.cravecon.com. Look, I don't know what you're doing with your lives right now, but if you're in Texas, and if you find yourself in the Galveston area this Saturday, this Saturday is out here. Up. You have to be here, Ken. There's no other option. <laughs> Not only you have an option, Ken, you have to be here. Oh, yeah, we'll you be here. have to be here. I'm telling you right now, you may think that it's just a food event, incorrect. Food, gaming, we're going to be giving away three. I, I can't even. Should, should I tell you? Yeah, you can tell. I can tell you. It's called hashtag fast foodie. It's with Checkers and Rally. They're coming in, they have something magnificent happening with artists. Art is even out in the area. Art is showing crazy love for the Cravings Collection. That's www.cravingscollection.com. It's up and running. It's up and running right now. Go slide over to the website. We're going to have artists at CraveCon. This is the first time they're doing something of this nature, and it's happening at our event, bro. They're okay. going to come in. They're going to paint, I mean, pretty much food. masterpieces yeah. of food. 3D action for your face, making you hungry on canvas. And here's the best part about it. What is it? That day, we're going to tell them some special hashtags that they have to use every time they take a picture of one of the pictures that they like. Oh, okay. If they get the most likes on the picture they took, they're going to win that picture. How many pictures are going to be given There's going to be a multitude of pictures, kid. I'm, might be 10, might be 15, might be 25, 30. I don't, they're going to be there all day. They're going to be there all day painting. And all you have to do is be there as well if you see something that you like, snap it with your phone, click, click. Don't take a picture of Dame, because you won't Don't take it. a picture of me, because you'll definitely lose. <laughs> you, you will not get that picture, I promise you. <laughs> but that's going to be your opportunity to win a free painting. Come on, Dame, what are you doing? What are you doing Saturday? Stop playing. Stop playing games. I know you want to see Ken. I know you said, you know, when am I going to get an opportunity to meet Ken and do a food review with him? Saturday. Saturday. 13th. The 13th. August. CraveCon, www.cravecon.com. Get your tickets today. Get them now. Right now. Do it. Click that button. Do it. <laughs>